Miss Jenkins began the lesson with the hook to pre-assess their knowledge of fractions. So this is going to be her card. Watch what happens. She's going to flip it over and there's a question. It says, would you rather have a quarter, so one fourth, <clears throat> of the first, the second, or the third candy bar? I'm going to come show you the candy bar and I want to see what you think. Would you rather have a fourth of the first, the second, or the third? An individual rotation model was used to deepen their understanding of fractions. You choose what you need to grow and learn today. So if you're going to be able to focus better with me, then you're going to come join me. If you're going to be able to focus and learn with video notes, then you're going to do your video notes. If you want to try it on your own first, that is fine with me, but then you need to go back to your video notes to do what? following along in your journal with your notes. And remember, if you're not being successful today, then we're going to have to have a conversation about where we need to move. Okay? You ready to show some grit? Yeah. I don't think so. Are you ready to show some grit? Yeah! yeah. Alright. Yeah. One. Last time in the Make sure you have the for today. And I want us to think in first about what we talked about. As students finished learning their, through their selected method, they took a quick formative assessment on a web-based tool called Socrative. This is my second one. I'm going to start with zero. I'm going to accept this so I can listen to my zero. So how do you feel about fractions? That... I feel good. Good. Why do you say that? Because if you look at it, Students are feeling more successful because they have choice in how they learn new material. The teacher uses the data from Socrative to provide students with different learning opportunities.